Hey guys, today is Tuesday, uh, September 8th, 2020. Let's take a look at the market today. Uh, you can see the a lot has changed since the last time I made I made my video, and it's only been one, two, three, four days. So, <clears throat> oh man, a lot of things has changed since, since September 3rd. You can see that everything is has been is down dramatically. You can see that Nasdaq right now is is has down, you know, almost twelve uh, percent. I gotta say, I let my guards down uh, since September. I I saw this thing going above the uh, this range, expanding range that I drew a long time ago. I didn't really take precaution to liquidate my holdings and. And this is what I got, right? I really got kind of a, uh, have a baseball bat to my to my face, right? And you can see that now this uh, the the share has down dramatically. Uh, a lot of leading stock of the small market has been uh, completely decimated, right? For example, Tesla today is down twenty one percent. That is just huge volatility here uh, since the top is is down. Oh man, so this top is down 41% from top, 42% top in, in the last only couple of days. And this is just a, a tremendous amount of retracement in such a short period of time. I mean, look at this, right? Look at this one, it takes a long time. This takes only a couple of days. It's just incredibly, incredibly quick. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, if you look at uh, look at the uh, if we get rid of the pre pre uh, market hours, we are down thirty four percent, which is not better than uh, you know uh, in most scenarios. Look at this one is twenty nine percent. How the bounce? Are we gonna get a bounce? I don't know. Maybe we will. Maybe we 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 we, we will get a bounce. Uh, by but by, by looking at the Nasdaq, I think we are due for a bounce, right? Um, we are in this expanding range. You can see that here we overshoot a little bit. Uh, we overshot a little bit, and now we under. Uh, I think we're going to undershoot, right? We're going. We're going to undershoot, and I think this particular range here is logical. And you can see the market is bouncing right now. Uh, is this a real bounce, or is it going to be a fake one? We don't know. We, we really don't know. Uh, hopefully, I think this could be a real one that we could be making another high. Right? This, this, is a, this is a shakeout, then we make another high, then maybe we are going to go under. Just like this, right? If you look at this one, I drew this a long time ago. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really get rid of these stuff. Uh, for the time being, let me just get rid of these. You can see that we we were in this expanding kind of trend as well since uh, you know the 2016 kind of crash, 2015 2016 crash, and we are in this range uh, for for that particular move. And you can see that we basically went above the range, came down, uh, did a pretty large correction in January 2018, then then came up again. Um, so I th I think this one is really sharp, similar to this one. I think we we might get a bounce like this. It's very likely we all, we will, but that doesn't mean that this bounce is going to be the same across the board, right? Some of the stock has been beaten down by a lot, and because they have so much, uh, people will only take take profit at a certain level. A lot of people are trapped up there. Um, the bounce is going to be much weaker, right? Uh, for example, Tesla, I, I don't think Tesla is going to have a huge bounce back that quickly. That's, that would be very uh, unexpected. I think Tesla is going to maybe drifting down and uh, it's really hard to say how this is going to perform, right? Uh, I think with this kind of chart, we have to look at something like Amazon that back in 2000. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so Amazon back in 2000, you can see that's a huge retracement. Um, so it, it came down a huge retracement like that. So that is a 52% retracement. Wow. 
and then uh, even more 56 percent retracement but eventually it came back and made a new high uh, making these kind of triple top at the very uh, incredibly amount of volatility again at this very high level i think tesla could could be doing something similar right so let me just get rid of those i suppose it's garbage here so tesla could be doing something similar you know we had a we had a uh, you know this thing uh, a first run run up and the second run up it's just insane uh, it's going to come down probably find some support around this level uh bounce around then maybe try to make a new high uh, it, this is totally possible uh by the end of this year but is this gonna happen? We don't know. All right. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, and uh, but be prepared for a fifty percent plus uh, retracement here, just like Amazon. This is Amazon was fifty six percent, and we're looking at you know fifty seven, fifty six, whatever. It's it just going to be a huge amount of volatility slow. And right now we have already retraced back uh, by a huge margin and uh, uh, maybe it's going to do further. Okay, let's take a look at the other stuff. Uh, work. Oh my God, man, work. Why didn't I not sell this piece of work? Today before the earning, I knew the earnings coming. I know the market is weak. So when the earnings coming, it doesn't matter where the earnings is going to be. Work is going to be down. And, and I basically took this huge hit. Uh, my cost is around $29, so now I'm down on the stock by you know 20%. That is, that is stupid. Um, I should have just sold whatever. I mean, I, I was here, I was uh, pondering of selling some of my shares, but I did not. Uh, the reason is I only hold a very small amount of work. Um, this is not my core position, so I didn't really care how much it falls. But honestly, I have to protect my profit. It doesn't matter how small the, the amount was. Um, okay, what else? What else that I can look at? I think that's enough for stocks. Um, there are some still pretty good plays right now. I think if you think this is a bounce, you should be looking for a bargain in this market. There are some really good bargains in this market. For example, a lot of the, uh, um, you know, these kind of... Uh, um, Moderna, all these vaccine stocks are down dramatically by you know more than fifty percent. You can see that from the top. Uh, it's possible we are going to get a bounce, just like you know where we had in Tesla. But maybe this is going to go uh, have a further downside, and then it's going to make a new high. I I don't think the vaccine is over. I think you know the COVID is still here. We're still in vaccine. Once these guys get to production by you know february this year or no, even as by february next year sorry and or by july next year some of these companies are going to fly again but before that i think this looks to me is going to do a much a much much uh, deeper retracement and uh, um in my it, it's it's going to shake a lot of people out before uh, it gets better again Okay, um, so what else? I think that's it. That's it for for those stocks. So let's take a look at the cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency market is correlated to the stock market. So right now, I can't really say much about the cryptocurrency market besides it's, it's also taking a beating. So let's take a look at the Ethereum. Um, Ethereum. So Ethereum, you know, I was expecting this to uh, consolidate and come down and then come up. But now the situation was way worse. It didn't really consolidate. Oh man, I, I knew it's going to uh, hit this and, and come down, but I thought it was going to consolidate, but it didn't. So I didn't really get everything out. I sold a little bit of Ethereum on this, on this level. I sold about 25% of my position at this level. And uh, unfortunately, I should have sold all just to protect my gains when the market has gone vertical. And I did not. Unfortunately, I did not. And not, I wasn't smart enough to do that. 
I was only trying to you know to sell a little bit. Uh, that's a mistake I made. Um, but if you look at this uh, right now, Ethereum, I think Ethereum is due for a bounce. It's consolidating nicely at this level. It could be a potential uh, bounce point like this here, right? And uh, maybe uh, we, we're gonna bounce, we're gonna come down again, maybe we consolidate the level. If we do hold at this level, we consolidate and um, we could potentially make a new high, but if we don't, if we don't, we could eventually, we, I mean, if we consolidate here, and there are two scenarios, one is that we go make a new high, the other one would be uh, we're going to retest the 243 level, which is a very critical level uh, for Ethereum. And if we retest here, it's gonna wash a lot of people out and then make uh, keep climbing again. This is not what I want to see, but it, it could happen. It could happen. And let's take a look at, uh, you know, I don't know whether this is going to be a consolidation or whether it's going to be a continuation. Uh, I don't know, but this t looks to me, it could be a consolidation. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to say. The past history doesn't really say, uh, have a lot of uh, similar scenarios as, as of today. I mean, even with this fall, particular fall, the, there was a bounce, uh, but our fall this time was very, very sharp, and a lot of people got trapped, and uh, yeah, it's, t it's really, really tough. I gotta say, it's really, really tough to trade this one. Uh, well, we could have something like this, right? So if you look at this, this one, we we basically went straight. We came down, which is oh my god, this is a fifty-four percent retracement, which is, was brutal. And uh, but we consolidated it here. Uh, we were able to hold. And uh, let me see. So and uh, was able to uh, bounce a little bit and continue the fall. So yeah, man. Like I gotta say, Ethereum. This thing is very volatile. Uh, when when it was a smaller market cap, and uh, it's tough. It's tough to trade. It's tough. Uh, you you don't want to have leveraging this thing, man. Like this thing moves fifty percent. You know, sixty percent in a couple of days. You 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 could be wiped out instantly. Okay. So that's all I want to talk about today. And uh, see you next time.